Now is the time to wake up. What is Gucci fam? Your boy Just Jay Sama's in the building today and I got a very, very special video for you guys. So over the past month I've been doing consistent live streams and I'd have to say I keep getting the same question asked to me every single stream. Jay, what made you start YouTube? How did you start YouTube? How long have you been doing YouTube? Well guys, today I have the answer for you. Here's a clip from last week's live stream. Go ahead and take a look. You know, how long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for on this channel I've been doing it for just over a year and uh, YouTube in general like working with other channels and stuff like that and partnering with people I've been doing that for about 10 years now so a little bit less than 10 years because uh, I started in 2007 I made my first YouTube channel um, and that was like a little skit channel with me and my friends when I was in middle school and going into high school so that was like we just decided to make skits and stuff and then we stopped doing it because we were just like yeah this is this is stupid like people are making fun of us and then my my second channel after that was with a couple of buddies and we were doing like once again we were doing skits and we got up to like five six thousand subs and stuff like that and then we just we just stopped making videos we stopped hanging out and then in college i had a youtube channel um that got to about 15k and what we did we were like a promotion channel so what we would do is we would go find like unsigned music artists and stuff like that and we'd give them like a platform to perform on and um this was back when i was like also running a nightclub at the same time and we would have them perform and we would post it on youtube and stuff like that and then we would also come and find actors and stuff who didn't have gigs and we'd like give them stories and, and monologues and stuff and put them on our platform so we got pretty big but one guy he was just like yeah i'm not receiving the credit and not the and no money like this is bullshit that i'm working on this for no money and it's like dude none of us are making money off of this it's just youtube like we're not we don't plan on getting money off of this like the whole uh, point was to uh create a job and to create a company and you know to create something out of it it's not to oh make money directly from it because nobody first of all making money directly from youtube is such a far-fetched thing like not even big youtubers do it they make it from endorsements and branding and all this other shit they don't make that much money from youtube like probably pewdiepie does but you know they don't make that much from youtube alone like adsense is not gonna pay your bills it's not gonna pay your bills for like 10 years so had i had i just stayed with the original channel that i was working on i probably have a, a, like tons of fucking subs I, I couldn't even give a proper number i'd probably like have pretty close to a million like probably 500,000 or something I don't know had I just stuck with my original um, gimmick and then so we stopped working on that channel uh, because he deleted everything he deleted all the social media and stuff which by the way you got to be careful when you work with people because sometimes you never realize who's gonna double cross you and who's gonna turn on you and then the channel after that it was called the League of Super Awesome Gamers which I made I think in 2010 2009 no 2011 and that one was basically like a party channel like we would play co-op games, we would play, uh, we would go to different events. We went to Evo, we went to E3, and we got to participate in a lot of tournaments and stuff. We got, we were part of the FGC, so you know, I'll, I'll, we got a long way from that. But me and my buddy Daniel, we just stopped working on it one day, probably because I felt like I was being really fatigued. Because he was like, Jay, I'm going to all these events and I'm doing all these things, and all you're really doing is edit vi editing videos. And I was like dude that's that's the hardest part because you do get to go to these events you get to take your camera and you get to go talk with all these and philanthropy with all these people and shit like i don't get to do that like when i go to these events i feel left out because i don't know anything about the fgc but he knows guys like mike ross snake eyes and like all these other guys and shit and i'm like all these dudes are fucking huge marvel and and street fighter players and you know all of them like when he actually got to meet and talk with infiltration he didn't even network with him he was just like oh yeah i like your fights you know you should work on on your you know left side or whatever you should work on this you should work on that and then he was like oh yeah cool and then he got to play with infiltration i was like so you mean to tell me you went out to this event you went out to evo 2015 and you didn't plug the channel like at all you didn't do any networking and he was like well no i was there to meet people i was like but you didn't network at all you didn't even take business cards so we just we just had a huge falling out and i was just like you know what i'm done with this so and then after that yeah i, I used to be a huge fgc player like I, I used to play uh dead or alive and marvel so that's what that's why when somebody tells me like oh i could beat you at marvel i'm like 
All right, yeah, sure you can, kid. Like, I, I've never, like, been worried about people beating me at Marvel. And I remember uh, one year, it was 2006, and this was D DOA 2, DOA 3, and I actually got to play up against Swoozy. So, and he was just, he, I, I didn't realize he plays Kasumi, I didn't know he mains her, which is kind of a cheap character, honestly, because she has, she has cross combo cancels and shit, and I don't, I don't fucking like her, she's, she's such a cheap character. Um, so I actually got to play against him, so probably, had I just developed my YouTube channel as a fighting, as a, like, a fighting gamer, I probably would be as big as Swoozy. But, Swoozy also built his channel off of vlogging and telling stories and stuff, and I probably wasn't, like, ambitious enough to do that. So, you know, I kind of just went with stuff and then after that i created a whole nother this one like two years ago i created a whole nother channel called the league uh, not the league of super awesome gamers that was the first one uh called reset complex and what that was it was a co-op channel with me and my buddies and we really we didn't have any monetization we turned everything off and we just made co-op gameplay so you know like when you're playing with buddies and it's on split screen so basically we created our channel around um going from showing from perspective to perspective and one of our main games was like borderlands 2 borderlands was probably and i i have the link to that channel it's called just j2 now i i ended up changing it but i'm gonna give tony um i'm gonna tell tony to start uploading to that channel because um my buddy tony who's also in my uh featured section on my channel uh, he started making his own solo stuff because we just couldn't keep up with co-op stuff because I was just pumping out content all the time and I felt like, you know, I'm doing all this work and like I got us to our first hundred subs, our first two hundred subs and, you know, it just it just felt like I was doing all the work and my buddy Sergio wasn't doing anything, but he's a, mu he's a musician, so he's like, he has his own band and stuff and, you know, stuff he wants to work on and whatnot, so I was just like, you know, whatever, like you do you and you know, we'll do us. So it was just me and Tony for a while, and Tony wasn't putting out videos. Tony wasn't uh, making the t proper thumbnails. And I realized, like, I was on a team. I probably should have did that stuff for them. And I ended up editing all of their videos because Tony had a problem with his computer. I was like, okay, just record your stuff, put it on the channel, and I'll edit it. And so it was just, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> it was just all a bunch of, like, it's just a mess. So then I just decided you know i'm ambitious enough i'm i'm creative enough and i'm you know people think i'm funny enough to start my own youtube channel and shortly after that i started just jay sama and then here we are like uh within the first nine months i was at 100 subscribers and then now that i'm a year let's see it's gonna be september yeah august i just passed a year and i'm at 370 so you know it took a year on the other channel to get to 100 so you know i don't think i'm doing too bad and then I think at the end of this month marks uh, the anniversary of that fight I had with Legendary Agwing that got me my first 50 subscribers. So, you know, 